The attorney for Judge, no, what? Yes. I'm Judge Thorne. Oh, Hi, you're Judge. Judge. Okay. And yeah. you I heard the case uh, for three years, finalized with a jury trial in October. Okay. And then in November, the judgment, I believe, was signed. Uh, and there was apparently a motion for a new trial. Okay. And there was uh, a motion uh, for findings of fact, conclusions of law, which was filed. Uh, so uh, then... It was set for January the 30th, I believe, and Mr. Taylor requested it be set later, and the other side uh, requested it be set earlier. Anyway, so it yeah. was set on the 7th. Of February. Of February, yes. Okay. And uh, then his motion uh, to recuse me was denied, and then his motion to object to me was denied because it was too late. Uh, and but it was, but but that has since been granted, has it not? Yes, it was okay. granted. Uh, he filed a motion for extended time, and apparently yesterday, I just found out uh, that uh, Judge uh, Trapp Trap. granted yeah. that. Now, what was originally set today was the motion for new trial. Okay. And uh, in any event, and then he apparently subpoenaed the judge. Okay, you're uh, Mr. Taylor? That's Mr. Taylor, yeah. Okay, I'm just here. I'm Suzanne Stovall. I'm the judge on this case. And I'm just hearing what the background has been in this case. I, and, I, I understand, Judge, and good morning. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Um, well, welcome to Jefferson County, if you will. <laughs> well... Um, I'm not there. <laughs> I, I hate to, I haven't heard any of this and he's just um, telling me he's just giving me procedure. Oh, so he's it, telling it, me what's happened. So as I understand it, what's set for today uh, initially was a motion for new trial uh, and then also a a motion to quash a subpoena. Uh, that's fine. Are you also aware that an emergency motion has been filed and admitted into this case for disqualification and removal of opposing counsel set aside of judgment and with sanctions Are no, you no. that no, is no. that was put into play before yeah. I, I requested that that be put into play before we move to this new trial based off the okay well let, let me do this i'm i'm just hearing the background so i just want to i'm going to hear from judge thorne just what's happened in the past so may i also Judge, may I also state that Judge Thorne was subpoenaed because he is no longer on the case. He was right, I'm just here. All I'm hearing is what happened. What happened? What happened? There was a trial. This happened. This happened. Facts. That's all I'm hearing. Yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you. All right. Um, okay, Judge Thorne, where we were is that there was a jury trial uh, held in October. Um, the judgment was signed in November. And then there was a motion for new trial set, and um, there was it was set. I don't know. Anyway, it ended up being set for today. Well, it was initially set uh, for January the thirtieth, but Mr. Taylor asked that it be uh, not on that date. Right. So, so anyway, it was, it's set for today. No. Yes. Okay. And and uh, so. There's also a motion to uh, a motion for new trial is for today, mm -hmm. and then a motion to uh, quash a subpoena. I think there's several. Uh, Mr. Taylor apparently subpoenaed the the judge that heard the case, which is me, 
the uh, court reporter that. Uh, but it, all of that is set. I believe the court reporters is set. Is that correct, uh, Ms. Uh, Maritza? Um, or, Judge, just, honestly, I was out last week. I didn't set up the hearing on the motion to quash. So okay. I don't know who's all set. You as have, far you as I know, it's just yours. You don't I'm have sorry, a docket. Judge. I'm sorry, you don't have a docket somewhere with settings on it? I've looked in um, our program where we usually have our settings and the only um, notice of hearing I have for a motion to quash is for Judge Thorns. Okay, well then that's all that's set. Okay, well, all right. Miss, uh, the lady that you see uh, on your screen, Elisa, she is the court reporter that uh, handled the, took all of the hearing. She was subpoenaed to, and she had filed a uh, motion to quash her subpoena too. But that's not set today. I thought it was, but maybe not. I, I'm, uh, I believe Miss Kathleen Kennedy is on. Miss, more about it than I. Couldn't hear you, Elisa. I believe, I go ahead. I believe uh, Kathleen Kennedy is on and more than I on that. Uh, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. uh, I did yes. call a response, a motion to quash, but it is not set for a hearing today. Okay. Okay. Uh. okay. So, so um, the only thing we're hearing today is the motion to quash the subpoena for Judge Thorne. Yes, ma'am. Judge, okay. may, may I interject? I'm Sonia Kaufman. I represented the plaintiff in the underlying case or petition. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, Sonia Kaufman? Yes, Your Honor. There so, are several other motions to quash that have been filed, and the motions to quash pertain to the motion for new trial. Mr. Taylor has subpoenaed the attorneys who tried the case, a legal assistant who worked on the case, as well as Judge Thorne and the court reporter. So all of those motions to quash pertain to the motion for new trial. So it was my understanding that those would be heard before the motion for new trial. Oh, and and uh, they have been subpoenaed for what, for the motion for new trial? Yes, yes Your Honor. To testify at the motion for new trial. That's what they're... Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I, I filed these for the reasons of there are multiple underlying facts that need to be brought in. Miss, I did have a response to Miss Elisa. I read a response to all of them put on and served, uh, e-filed, is that Miss Elisa, obviously she has a fee that's based around her transcript. However, uh, that transcript, I'm not trying to circumvent anything to do with her transcript. It's just for the matter of the facts asserted into my new trial with you coming on and not being there uh, during the jury trial, Miss Elisa would just confirm that these statements or, um, or comments were made during the course. That is it. Uh, there will be a request for Miss Elisa's record and they will, Miss Elisa, I've worked with her a couple of times on records, that, that will be paid. I'm not trying to circumvent her, her transcript fees or anything else, the work that she has to do. But uh, I, that is why she's here is because if you're listening to my side and then you're listening to opposing counsel side and they differ, the only person who could honestly give you a record of whether that was said during the jury trial or not is Miss Elisa for these portions of that. Okay, we have someone, we have someone new that has joined us. That's uh, Mr. Peterson, Judge Stovall, and he is an attorney um, on the mother's side, I believe. Yeah, Tom Peterson, Judge. Uh, okay, and, and you're representing? Uh, Heather Tice. Uh, Ms. Kaufman and I represent Ms. Tice. 
Judge, I'm sorry, I had this down for 930. It was 930. And I just I just got on trying to figure out what we were doing. And suddenly everybody was here. So, <laughs> so we're we're just kind of combing through what we're doing today. Yeah. Uh, so and not on the record. And not on the record. Yeah, we just say what? Uh, <laughs> so we can we can figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, so you haven't missed a thing. So I just understand that, that there was a jury trial on this case. Uh, the judgment was signed in, signed in November. And now basically there's a motion for new trial. And what we're to all talking about is this motion for new trial um, and who's going to testify and uh, when we're going to have it. So as I understand it. So. Oh. Uh, um, <clears throat> it, it, we are going to dis, uh, the one thing I knew about was whether or not Judge Thorne uh, is qualified to testify. Uh, there's a motion to quash his subpoena. And who's rep who is representing you, Judge Thorne? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Who is representing you? Uh, Mr. Roebuck. I don't, he's the only one not here, right? He is on, but I think it's Cindy. Um, can you unmute Cindy for me? Uh, yes, Tom Roebuck's just running late this morning. He got into some traffic. He's on his way here now. Okay. Okay. And uh, Beaumont, so has, Beaumont has turned into uh, Houston construction over the last several months, Judge. That's so. what I that's that's what I was told by the uh, administrative judge to probably not go the most direct way, and that's another reason we thought Zoom would be appropriate for this. Yes, ma'am. So um, I'm thinking that the the only thing I have set is is the motion to quash the subpoena for Judge Thorne. Now, does anybody think anything else is set today? I do, uh, Judge. All of these other motions to quash pertain to the motion for a new trial. But so, they haven't been set for today, have they? Or everybody wants to hear them? It's my understanding they were set. And if they're not heard prior to the hearing on the motion for a new trial, they become moot. I mean, yeah, well, of course they're going to be heard. The only issue is, are they going to be heard today? Well, if the motion for new trial is going to be heard, they have to be That's heard. That's not going to be heard today because I don't know anything about that. I'm not going to have to. So that can't be heard. The only thing I know to be heard is a motion to quash. Okay. So. Uh, Judge, I think that we have a misunderstanding of what actually is set and what will actually be heard well, I can tell you that we don't have a misunderstanding of what's going to be heard. I, I understand. I, I, I'm not I, hearing a motion for new trial today because I'm not prepared for that. Uh, that I'm not, I was not given, you know, I, 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 I don't have any um, of the documents. I cannot be heard today. The yes, only thing that can be heard is the, is the quashing of subpoenas. And, and, uh, you know, you're you're at a bit of a disadvantage in not having an attorney. And, you know, obviously we have all these books and books and books of rules and regulations and case law. Uh, and we're supposed to be pretty much familiar with that. And I'm guessing you haven't done a lot of that light reading. Uh, I, I've, I've kept up the best I can, Judge, but I'm with you. I understand yeah. that there's a procedure that needs to take place in a process. I'm fine with that. I, um, I, I would say that the there are five subpoenas. I, I did right. subpoena five. Well, let me tell you that it's very, very irregular to have to subpoena the personnel in a court case. The reason yes, is that you have a record, and the record speaks for what happened at the event, and that's what you rely on. And it's very irregular um, to to have uh, to hear testimony from the judge. In fact, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure you even can. Um, uh, so they, they, you know, it, it, but that we're going to decide today about whether Judge Thorne, uh, is subpoena is going to be honored or, or is going to be uh, quashed. So that's all we're going to do today. 
Then yes, what, what we can what we can do is talk about this motion for new trial when we want to set it, because uh, I need to go over the filings, etc., and get a a a feeling for uh, what all is involved and how much time it's going to take, etc. Judge, I, as I mentioned earlier, that there was an emergency motion to file for disqualification of opposing counsel, set aside judgment and sanctions. But it just wasn't because admitted. you call it an emergency doesn't mean it's an emergency. I, and I understand. I, I just and the reason for that was is exactly for the reasons outlined into that. I understand that maybe all the documents haven't made their way to you. Obviously, you were assigned yesterday from the documents we received. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would ask that if we're considering potential of hearing anything prior to new trial, that, that we entertain that motion prior because. As outlined into that motion, I do not believe it's best if the opposing counsel continues to represent in this case, even into the motion for new trial. And that's my platform. I know we don't want to get into a bunch okay. of stuff into it. You're talking about Mr. Roebuck. No, yes, ma'am. No. No. no, you're talking about who? Sonia Kaufman and Tommy Peterson. Okay. Thomas Peterson, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Sonia Kaufman. And uh, he, and these are the people that represent who? The petitioner of the suit, which is the mother. Okay, so you're wanting her lawyers disqualified? Yes, ma'am. Why? Uh, it's, it, it's outlined in a several several yeah, pages. Basic, basically, why? They violated Texas Family Code rules of evidence. They violated multiple articles of the Family Code in regards to abuse and neglect. They violated the penal code. They've committed aggravated perjury. They've tampered with witnesses. Um, they violated an order of limine that was signed by the judge in this case on multiple fronts. They argued of things that are false on multiple fronts. Um, that's that's that's. Um, you did you you did like the lawyering. It's not necessarily I didn't like it. It's called fraud upon the court. They've deceived the trier of fact and the judge along with the jury in this case. It, 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 my my per personal uh, beliefs in who they are, it doesn't matter as okay. far as what they've done professionally. Judge. Okay. Mr. Roebuck right. is here. Your oh, Honor. Mr. Roebuck. Welcome. Morning, Your Honor. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm trying to get a handle on what we're doing here today. Well, it's 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 a big it's a big shovel. Oh yeah, uh, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to remove Judge Trap from my uh, answer. <laughs> <laughs> from my friends, from my from yeah, uh, contacts. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, we're trying to figure out what what to do today. Um, and there, I, as I understand it, the big underlying case is a motion for new trial. Um, that's what's in, in this case, that's the, the big thing that needs to be done. And this is kind of a, a, a tangential it, or issue in that, as I understand it, the only thing set for today is uh, the motion to quash uh, Judge Thorne's subpoena. Um, is that what you understand? Well, I'm not sure, Judge, because I've been in this for two days. I I thought the motion for new trial was set, but Sonia can probably tell us. Well, the the let me tell you this: it may have been never got word to me. I'm not ready. I don't. I have seen nothing. I know nothing, and it would be inappropriate, I think, for for me to hear that today. So the only word I got was the, so is the, the um, quashing the subpoena on Judge Thorne. We could hear that, or we could set this motion for new trial uh, and these tangential <sighs> things. Well, I mean, I'm, the only thing I'm in this for, Your Honor, is the, is the motion to quash the subpoena for the sitting trial judge. Yeah, yeah, well, Let's. Why don't we go ahead and hear that, uh, and then we we can um, list everything else that needs to be here heard and make a logical decision about when those things should be heard. So, 
although it's not part of my motion, I think the court probably ought to consider it. Um, as court knows, typically motion for new trial, you don't hear testimony about what went on in the trial. Any anyway, you use you know if, if one of the I, I'm not exactly sure what is the basis of his motion is, but if you want to if you want to talk about what went on in the trial, then you have to then I would su suggest to the court that that would be newly discovered evidence and you use the trial transcript. You don't use testimony of a sitting trial judge. Rule 605 says sitting trial judge can't be a witness anyway. So that's my position, Your Honor. Okay. So you, your, your position is a sitting trial judge cannot be a, uh, a witness in a motion for new trial. That's, we know that's he can't right. be in the case in chief, but you're talking about motion for new trial as well. Yeah, I, I think it's the same thing, Judge. I, it Thank seems you. to me that it's his testimony would be, if any, would be about what went on during the trial. And I think 605 is pretty clear. Your Honor, may I respond? Yes. Just a moment. Just a moment, please. Will you yes. please let me know, Judge, when you'd like to go on the record? Good idea. I <laughs> I don't have. Tell me what your name is. My name is Angie Mormon, and I'm the court reporter for this proceeding. Oh, good. Okay. I didn't know we had a court reporter. Okay. <laughs>